everywhere. Hope it's not the gloom. Welcome back to the secret underground fortress of the moles. Same nightmares every night. Otherwise known as Orion's mad church under the city. They both this make about as much city. sense as each other, I feel, in this stage of the story. But we'll press on regardless. Far be it for me to criticize professional writers. Ah. This doesn't look like a trap at all, does it? It's gotta be a box somewhere. So I can grab the loot that I don't really need. Ah, here we go. Excellent. And what have we got here? Storage room. I've installed the lock on the storage room, sister. As our numbers swell, we must be careful to safeguard what supplies the Graven possess. I trust you'll only open the room for those truly deserving. Praise Orion. So there's four notes on this level, and so far I've find, found half of them. And they don't tell you anything other than how to get to slight loot rooms. This is the I feel like this is the part of the game where explanation is needed most because things are really speeding up with very little detail to a lot of them. Oh, fucking, I mean, case in point, here's these monsters back again from the asylum. So obviously Erin's, or the primal energy that she's got in her is turning these things now uh, or creating them out of ordinary people. you got to think the pilgrims or the followers of Orion are at least a little bit suspicious being here underground and half of them start to turn into fucking monsters. No? What's wrong with Steve? He didn't have claws yesterday. What darkness is behind this? This must be the storeroom. The city is ours. There's a trap on that. Not quite what I was wanting to do, but there we are. Never hurts to have a bit of privacy while you're stealing things. Really? All that for a pair of moccasins? I don't need any more fucking shoes. The streets aren't quiet anymore. Oh, this might be rough. Time for a quick save. What happened to the scoop sellers? Oh, my neck aches. Is that guy's going to oh, Hungry. I hope someone starts some trouble. I'll put them in their place. Shut your hole, you dick. Good? Yeah, we're good. Excellent. Oh, fuck. Careful. Ah, let's see if that I don't have the combination for. They said iron never breaks. They were wrong. Scavenger's note. Enough is enough. I found the safe, dug it out of the ruins, hauled it all the way up to the loading dock, and now I've tried every shit sop number combination from 000 all the way up to 672. I won't go one number higher. Fucking share. You want what's in it? Go to the loading dock and do it yourself. What's the betting that the safe combination is 673? It's gotta be, doesn't it? 
Do I want to go back there, though? Is it worth the effort? Rest. I'm not really sure it is. I can still feel Orion's touch, like his faith courses through me. Plus, in theory, we're on it well. Story-wise, we're on the clock here. Aaron's getting the blood pumped out of her to save people, and it's not really saving them, it's killing them, so... We should probably move on. I say that as I've already moved on. <laughs> you may have noticed. Ooh. Sir? Sir? Oh, I can't. There's nothing I can do for you, pal. I'm gonna quick save here. I could probably give you a Viking funeral if you want. Hear me, old father. Receive this brave warrior into Valhalla. That did fuck all. He does not feast with his ancestors, I'm afraid. He's just in a pile on the ground. I was expecting him to burst into flames there dramatically, but, you know, then again, I don't have a long ship lying around or a lake to put him on, so... Tough shit. Just like in the asylum, oh, they've been changed by the primal, changed by Aaron. I need to stop Orion quickly. Anything in here? <laughs> I know he said quickly, but still. Not much. All the traps on this level. What have we got? I'll take this. One out of six, and we're on top of seven. That's not a good sign, is it? <coughs> okay, I guess we're going up here. Oh! Bollocks to it. Bye. That, um, I haven't seen that before because I never triggered any of them in the asylum. I didn't know their eyes lit up like that. That's kind of fucking creepy. Okay, time to go. I think we're going to be waiting a while here, by the look of it. I really don't want to piss them off now. Oh, my God. 
Away now? Oh shit, never mind. He doesn't care about the light. Oh fuck. I'm gonna run into trouble here. Off the cheeky bastard. That could have gone better. Could have gone worse too. I didn't actually get caught. Fuck. Let's get out of here. What? Oh! You cunt. You absolute cunt. Mechanism anywhere? Can I shut this off? Ah. Toasty. My eyebrows. There we are. Hopefully that did the other one too. I wonder if it did. No nightmares for days now. Show me a faithless and the dawn's coming. I'll be there to greet it. This isn't good either. Fuck this level's rough. <clears throat> Is he just standing there or what? Yeah, I think he is. 
Fuck, I'm sure he is. That's that's a handheld torch. Something feels wrong. You don't say. Get up, get up, get up. Good. It sounded like something moving. Just beyond the gates. Those foul creatures. I know it. I haven't seen them come up this far before. Not yet. Do you think Orion could save even the likes of them? What? There's no saving abominations. <laughs> Hey, that's Steve you're talking about. Have some respect. Iron rusts, engines fail, but the graven dawn endures. <laughs> I'm not afraid. After Orion's blessing, I fear nothing. I took down one of those big watch bastards at Greystone. But those things just feel wrong. Where do you think they came from? Deep in the ground? Or crawled out of the sea. With how hard my head's pounding, I think they opened my skull and crawled out of my nightmares. The dawn's coming. I'll be there to greet it. They said iron never breaks. They were wrong. This is more atmospheric stealth, though, than some of the missions I'll grant you. It's very tense. Hopefully that comes through in the video. That's why I'm not talking an awful lot. There's nothing else for them but to pull whatever this is. 